pero creo que el que tenga más hambre se va a llevar la victoria esa noche. Sí, así es, el que tenga más hambre, el que se enfocó más, um, las ganas, y ese fui yo. Um, una pérdida que, que me enseñó mucho, um, no nomás en el ring, pero fue del ring, sobre la vida, y aprendí mucho y muy contento de estar de, um, de regreso aquí con este uh, público hermoso y, y, y feliz. Después de la derrota, ¿podrías decir que eres el rayo más hambriento y el rayo más peligroso? Definitivamente, um, nunca he estado tan enfocado, otra pasión nueva que, que creció en mi corazón, una lumbre y pues van a ver este sábado a marzo 25. Eh, Rayo, eh, finalmente de mi parte, se, se habla mucho del tema de, de esta pelea, eh, hasta dónde te puede llevar y entiendo que tienes que respetar al rival, pero después de esa derrota, ¿dónde te ves en unos años en el boxeo? Um, derro derrota no va a haber este sábado, yo voy a ganar. No, no, pero me refiero de, de, de aquella... Después de eso que te levantaste y estás tan fuerte, ¿dónde te ves en unos años um, en el boxeo? La, la misión no cambia, todavía voy a, voy a lograr ser campeón del mundo con el favor de Dios, vamos a seguir entrenando duro, una buena lección, bien enfocados, bien entrenados con mi equipo y seguir para pa adelante. Saludos para la raza finalmente. Sí, una saludo a toda la a raza que me apoya, a toda mi gente mexicana, a toda mi gente de Sinaloa, Sonora. Seattle, La Washington, muchas gracias por el apoyo, viejo. Jose, when a lot of fighters lose, they say they gotta go back to the drawing board. What did that drawing board tell you after the De Los Santos fight? Um, you know, it taught me a lot, you know. Um, I cleaned up all the bullshit around me, um, just locked in, grew a new passion, uh, a new fire was lit in my heart for boxing, and uh, it just brought me, uh, uh, you know, brought me back to why I started, you know, back, back on track. Do you feel this is a fight, maybe two desperate fighters trying to get back into the win column? Um... I wouldn't. I, I don't know about the word desperate, you know. Um, but I'm ready, you know. I'm focused, and, and you know, I'm calm, and, and I'm gonna come out victorious. Talk to us uh, about the energy in camp. And obviously, this is a fight. You guys have been talking about David and them involved, but I know you've been in the camp since since the altercation with, with Caleb in the gym. And talk about the energy uh, in the gym. Great energy, you know. I took advantage of the atmosphere in the gym, used it to my advantage. Uh, coming off a loss, you know, this was just perfect timing for me. Having David in the gym with me side by side, uh, the energy he brought in every day, you know, we just fed off each other, and, and I'm going to show Saturday night uh, who I really am. Having been part of that issue right at the gym, and I saw you kind of stuff with, with Caleb and all that, and now we're at the fight, we're finally here, man. Just talk about that, the journey of, of that itself. Um, you know, uh, oh, you got hands on Caleb before David has. Uh, yeah, you know, it was, a, it was a, I guess, you know, I was on the first card, why not put me on the second one? <laughs> Um, but no, you know, it was just a good fight in the making, you know, uh, just come with the good size about boxing or, you know, that, you know, that builds this, these great fights, you know, so now we're here. Happy to be on it. How does David get the victory on Saturday? Um, I, I, I truly believe in my heart. He stops Caleb Plant. He just brings so much to the table that people are overlooking um, for whatever reason, maybe his past uh, history or whatnot. But uh, he's going to come out victorious. I saw that guy train like an animal. I never seen him train like he did for this fight. And he's mentally, physically, and, and we're spiritually ready. Can't wait to see you again, man. I mean, uh, appreciate you. Are, you guys are both coming off a loss. Uh, you're the bigger guy. You're the more powerful guy. Do you plan on using that? Um, definitely, but you know, I'm gonna just do what I do. I'm a box. I'm, a, I, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna do what I do. I'm gonna land the shots that I shot, uh, that I land, and I think the power is just gonna come by itself. Um, I'm not gonna be looking for one punch knockout like my last fight. You know, I, I learned my lesson. I'm just do what I do, and, and I think the fight's gonna uh, end how, how it should end if I do everything all right. Can we see what has no effect on you? You know, early in the fight, does that mean you turn it up even more uh, in the fight, or? Uh, definitely, but we're still going to be cautious. We're still going to respect him. You know, um, I'm going to be touching up his body, you know, so I'll be expecting him to fade. Um, and, uh, and uh, you know, I like to turn up in fights, um, but we're definitely going to do a lot smarter this time. It was a little surprising to see you guys like a, a significant underdog in this fight. What do you think of that? Why do you think that is? Um, they're just going off my last performance. Simply, you know, that's simply it. You know, and um, that's cool. You know, that doesn't change the outcome of the fight. You're going to bet on yourself? Uh, definitely, my mom was going to make some money this fight. <laughs> I guess he kind of brought up like, hey, if this power's not there, that's my signal to kind of try to impose myself in the fight. I guess that's a, a big question here in the fight. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, I mean, I took a, I took a loss my last fight, obviously, but, you know, the guy hit the canvas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that was me on my worst night. So, um, we'll, I mean, we'll see how he takes the, the power. Do you think uh, he, was, he was exposed a little bit in his last fight? Um, I think he's been exposed a little bit um, in, 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 in spurts of, of, uh, of some of his fights. He tends to crumble. Um, he kind of like cr crouches down and just lets the guy go off on him. I just think the opponents don't know how to place the shots, don't know how to get him out of there. Uh, you know, Hector 
just right, believe he was consistent enough to got uh, to get him out of there and uh, we'll see uh, we'll see what he does this fight. El equipo de de Caleb y Caleb Plan dijo que que el equipo de Benavides son mentirosos, que realmente son no mienten y que lo quieren provocar. ¿Qué opinas de las palabras de Caleb Plan? Ah, yo no estoy preocupado de Caleb Plan, a mí lo que diga de de mí de mi equipo. Um, esto es lo que están promoviendo la pelea o lo que sea, pero a mí no me importa, yo estoy enfocado en mi pelea. Do you expect a stoppage for yourself? Is that what you see? Like stopping him eventually, like in eight rounds, seven rounds? Um, I think I'm the I'm the bigger fighter. You know, I train extremely uh, good for this fight. I'm in great condition. Everything's gonna go as planned. Um, I don't expect him to hang in there with me. Uh, for uh, the 10 rounds. Body, uh, just power in general. I'm going to be very busy and um, uh, we'll see how he comes first. Um, I, I've heard he, he's been struggling with his weight, so we'll see how that puts a toll on him.